Okay, look at this question. We have steel on market structure, an industry that consists of 100 firms with the following cost function. CI equals 0.1 QI squared plus Q1 plus 10. Find the aggregate supply function. Assuming the aggregate demand function D is this, find the equilibrium price and quantity. Now, this is very straightforward. I've told you uh, this is your cost function to tell you the number of effects. But you know, in this one, they gave us the number of effects in the industry. How many? 100. Okay, so now, solution. So our total cost is 0 0.1 QI squared plus QI plus 10. So let's find our NC. Of course, NC means we differentiate this TC with respect to Q. We differentiate it with respect to Q. So let's differentiate. 2 times 0 0.1. 0 0.2 Q1 QI plus differentiate Q1. Hope you know. Yes, sir. If you differentiate a letter, it will give you 1. Then if you differentiate 10, that will give you 0. And don't forget, profit is maximized when NC equals P. Don't forget, for perfect markets. So this now. 0.2 QI plus 1 equals P. Are we there? So from here now, let's try to make our Q the subject of formula because that's what we are looking for. So here now I can have 0.2 QI equals P. This plus 1, by the time I move it here, it will change to what? Minus 1. Is that not? So to get my QI, divide both sides by 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 cancel 0 0.2. QI equals P over 0 0.2 minus 1 over 0 0.2. You see that? I share the 0 0.2 to the two of them. It is mathematical if you have 4 minus 5 over 3. As 4 over 3 minus 5 over 3. You can share the denominator to the numerator. So the 0 0.2, I shared it to both of them. Now you will agree with me, there is a visible one here, yeah, I mean, 1 divided by 0 0.2, what was that? 5. So that's 5p minus 1 divided by 0 0.2 is what? 5. Five. So this one is the individual supply function. This is the supply function for one firm. But in that question, they ask us to find aggregate supply function. That means they want us to find the supply function for the 100 firms. And Edith asked me the other time. So I said, anytime they give you the number of firms, you multiply it with the supply function that you have. So what will be our aggregate supply function now? Aggregate supply function will now be multiply this by 100. So 100 into bracket 5p minus 5. So our supply function will be 500p minus what? 500. That is 100 times 5p is 500p. 100 times 5 is 500. So, I expect you that if you are lost, watch the video again. Watch the video for a minimum of three times. If you are lost. By the time you watch it for three times, anything that you don't understand, you must understand. If any demon is following you, that demon will fly you after you watch it. So I've got to my aggregate supply now. Okay, the next thing uh, I want to get is my, uh, I want to get 
Assuming the average demand function is this, find the equilibrium price and quantity. So that's the one I want to do now. Okay, so now that we have the aggregate supply, and then the next question is assuming the aggregate demand function is this, find the equilibrium price and quantity. Don't forget that at equilibrium, at equilibrium, the quantity supply is always equal to quantity demanded. So since we know our aggregate supply, and then we also know our aggregate demand, so let's equate the two. Our aggregate supply is 500 minus 500. And our aggregate demand has been given to us. It is minus 400 B plus 4,000. So from here now, we can find our P. So this is 500 P. Minus 400 P coming here, we change to plus. Plus 400 P equals, this is 4,000. Minus 500 coming to the other side, we change to plus 500. So 500 P plus 400 P, what's that? 900 P. Equals 4,000 plus 500 is 4,500. So with this, we can get the value of P. So to get the value of P, the value side by 900. So P times P, our price will now be 5 naira. So the equilibrium price is 5 naira. So to show that it's equilibrium price, we have put asterisk like this. Yeah, let's now get our equilibrium quantity. You know that our quantity supply is 500 P minus 500. And then our quantity demanded is minus 400 P plus 4,000. Look at it here. This side is quantity supply. This side is quantity demand. So since we have gotten price to 5 naira, so our QS is going to be 500 into bracket 5 minus 500. So that will be 2,500 minus 500. And that will be what? 2,000. So 2,000 is our quantity, our equilibrium quantity. If you like, you can also use it here. You get the same thing. Our equilibrium quantity will be minus 400 into 5 plus 4,000. 5 times 400 is minus 2,000 plus 4,000. Minus 2,000 plus 4,000 is what? 2,000. When you are solving under exam condition, you are not expected to use the two. You are just expected to use one out of the two because you will always arrive at the same answer. So, this is the equilibrium price and then this is the equilibrium quantity. So, the next class I'm going to be doing on this will be the one that has to do with tax. What if that supplier has to pay tax to the government? How do you solve uh, a question like that? Don't forget to click on subscribe and bell button for subsequent videos. Thank you. Okay, the question. Let's assume after solving, getting the equilibrium price and quantity, you are also given the Roman figure 3. Given that the supplier will pay a tax of 90 cobo, derive the supply function and determine the new equilibrium price. So look at this. Now what you will do is that solution. Now the cost function you are given, the cost function you are given is 0.1 QI squared plus QI plus 10. That's the 
original cost function you are given. Am I right? Yes. Okay. So now that the supplier will pay tax, so what you will just do is to say plus TQR. Plus TQR. Why? Because the supplier has to pay tax on the quantity produced. So TQI. So that's why you have to add the Q to it. So anytime you are introducing tax to the equation of the supplier or to the supply form to the cost function, you have to add the tax that the supplier will pay because it's a cost. Let me give you an illustration. Somebody produce pure water for four naira. He produce one pure water for four naira. And then government ask him to pay tax of one naira. So you will have to add the tax to the four naira. So if you want to answer you, you will now tell you, ah, the cost of production is five naira. Why? I use four naira to produce. I pay tax of one naira. So cost of production is five naira plus tax. So you have to add tax to the cost function. And so if the man produced two pure water for eight naira, so if he wants to pay tax, he will pay two naira tax. That means for two pure water, cost of production is eight naira plus two naira tax. That becomes ten naira. So tax is a function of quantity. So you have to add the Q. So I have said that. Let's find our marginal cost. So our marginal cost, which is differential of total cost with respect to Q, will now be 0.2 times 1, 0.1 times 2, will be 0.2 Q1. If you differentiate Q to give you 1, if you differentiate 10 to give you 0, if you differentiate T Q, it will give you T. Don't forget, if you differentiate any letter, so with respect to Q, to give you what is beside Q. So this is now our MC. Now, we can now say that profit is maximized. Profit is maximized when uh, MC equals P. So we have gotten our MC as 0.2 Q1 QI plus Y plus T equals P. You see that? This is our marginal cost. It's equal to P. We are following this. So from here, let's try to make Q the subject of formula. So our 0.2 QI equals P minus 1 minus t. Because plus 1 will come here and change to minus 1. Plus t will come here and change to minus t. So from here, I can divide those out by 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 comes to 0 0.2. Qi equals p over 0 0.2 minus 1 over 0 0.2 minus t over 0 0.2. So now that you have this, you can now say that So now that you have this, you can now say that our Q is now 5P how did I get 5? Invisible 1 is beside this P. 1 divided by 0.2 to give me 5. 5P. Then minus 1 divided by 0.2. 5. Then minus. There's also invisible 1 beside this T. 1 divided by that 0.2. What will you give you? That will also give you 5T. So this is now our supply function. But this supply function is individual supply function. Individual supply function. So if this is individual supply function, so aggregate supply function
now be 400 fems. 100 into 5p minus 5 minus 5t. So that will give us 500p minus 500 minus 500t. So now that we have this, we can now say this is our aggregate supply. So at equilibrium, at equilibrium, QS equals QD. So I'm going to say 500 P minus 500 minus 500 T is equal to minus 400 P plus 4,000. Don't forget, they gave us demand in the original question. So you equate the two. So at this point now, let's try to make our P the subject of formula. So I'll say 500 P plus 400 P is equal to 4,000 plus 500 plus 500 C. How did I get that? This is 500 P. This is minus 400 P. By the time you bring it here, you change to plus. Then this 4,000 is on the other side. Bring this minus 500 here, you change to plus 500. Bring this minus 500 C here, you change to plus 500 C. So 500 plus 400 P, that will be 900 P equals, if you add this together, what do you have? 4, 5, Four, five, five. plus 500 C. You can't add it to this because of the T. So to get your P, divide both sides by 900. So this cancel this. Our P now becomes 4,500 plus 500 into bracket 0 0.9. Don't forget that our tax is 90 cobo. So where we see T, we put the 90 cobo. 90 cobo is same thing as 0.9 over 900. So somebody should give us the final answer. What is the final answer? Five point what? Five. Five. Now you see that something has happened. When the supplier did not pay tax, the price was five naira. But because the supplier is paying tax, so that will reflect in the cost if we sell it. You know, if you pay tax to government, you will put that tax on the product. So the, pro the price we sell it to the consumer will be higher. And that is why you can see an increase. So anytime a supplier is paying tax, it will always have the effect on the price to rise. Why? He's paying more to produce that thing. Okay. So with this, we have come to the end of perfect market. So in our next class, we are going to be looking at uh, duopoly. And we are going to be looking at uh, Connaught model, Bertrand model, Stapelbach model. So till I see you again, I will simplify the game. Thank you.